My name is Jeb Corliss and uh, I live in Venice, California and I'm a professional bass drummer. Uh, I'm Roberto Mancino and I'm Italian and I'm a professional skydiver and now I'm a bass drummer. I understand that you know my dreams are most other people's nightmares. For some people the concept of standing on the edge of a building and jumping off of it is the single most horrifying, most unpleasant idea that you could ever even come up with. My nightmare is the, is the thought of sitting in an office working on a computer. That's a nightmare. I would rather, I mean, I can't even imagine something more horrifying. Or you know any I mean? other job. Every individual person has their dream. And every individual person has a right to live their dream. My dream isn't any better or any worse than anybody else's. But it is mine. <laughs> but no, I mean, that's what life is. You have a bunch of dreams, and then you do what you can to try to make them come true. Tell me where we are. In a bird uh, uh, park. Sanctuary. Okay. It keeps the little birds happy and healthy and alive. We had a we were working on a new TV show, a new project, and we needed a female who would be able to deal with excessively high levels of horror. And we I, I found out about Roberta because of her skydiving background. She had over five thousand skydives, one of the best freestyle skydivers in the world, one of the best free flyers on the planet. It was the beginning we of like, with emails and and then Skype and then phone calls. And yeah, how many months we've been talking like me? Three months, four months. Then we met each other. relationship are always going towards self-preservation of the other person. This is kind of how I look at it. She wants to base jump and it's her dream. And I'll do what I can to help her. But you're both pushing each other to a limit that most people would consider dangerous. I think that skydiving isn't dangerous at all. Base jumping on the other hand... You never know. <laughs> base jumping is dangerous. That's my own personal opinion. I, I, I think skydiving is as safe as walking across the street and getting yourself a muffin.
death is coming for us all, and there is no stopping it from happening. At the end of the day, we're willing to accept the consequences for our actions, and we're willing to accept the risk of what we're doing. We understand the risk. Of what we did multiple jumps off KL. Then we got really lucky because there's a building there called the Shark Fin. It's actually its real name is the TM, but because it looks like a shark fin, that's what everyone calls it. Now we go up there, Roberta, she does her jump, goes absolutely perfect, perfect on heading. She goes in, she lands, I'm like, oh, that was really nice. My turn, <laughs> you know, and then I step off, and I felt like I had a good jump, you know, it felt really nice, I felt stable, I pitched, and all of a sudden I open, and my, I'm just, I'm like, I'm going backwards, going, uh-oh, I look up, and I'm like, oh, God, I mean, I knew instantly, I have line twists, I face the building, I reach the line twist, I try to pull myself above them, I grab them, I impact the building, I'm able to then pull the canopy away, turn around, and right as I turn, I see this, like, big, giant awning that I'm going to impact with my canopy, so I'm like, no, and I turn it away from the awning, and then there's just a little, tiny, like, three-foot wall, and I'm like, I'm going to impact that little wall, and you can actually hear in the video, you hear me go, oh, no, oh, my no way, no way, no way, <laughs> impacted it feet first and I just and I mean I hit so hard and instantly the second I impacted I mean I knew I mean my left foot my left ankle broke my right ankle got twisted and my uh, hip on my left side got cracked in two places six week forced vacation <laughs> I heard a saying when I was younger that I really loved, which is, you know, the key to happiness is having dreams, and the key to success is fulfilling those dreams. You know, and that's what we do. Our happiness is having these really oddball, weirdo dreams, you know? And then every time we make one of those weird dreams come true that everyone said is impossible, that can't be done, it's just one more step to our success, one more successful thing that we've done, one more thing that makes us, you know, happy in our lives, you know? And eventually, one day, we'll die. You know, just like eventually one day you'll die too. So you can't let the fear of something that's completely and absolutely inevitable prevent you from living your dreams and doing what you love. Shake, 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 shake all these blues away. Only good thoughts can say. Only good thoughts can say. Da 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 da. And, and can you tell me about what's what's next? No, no, we're not, we can't. Okay, okay, oh, yeah. we won't talk, talk about this. Yeah, by the way, let's talk about that to anybody. It's gonna be a project that's so like, spectacular that it's 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 even hard to, to describe it to people, to make them truly understand the magnitude of what we're actually doing. And that's just the way the human being is. You know, we like to push the boundaries of what's possible, and we won't stop until we've covered every single inch of this planet till we've gone to every single planet that we can get to. That's what makes us human. There really are no limits. The only limits are the ones you place upon yourself. <laughs>